Welcome once again to Chinese Pod. We're coming from Shanghai, China. We bring you lessons in spoken Mandarin. There are two of us here. I'm Ken Carroll, and I'm Jenny. And it's great to be back. Now today's lesson is a newbie lesson that is for pretty much for absolute beginners.、Mm, uh, we have four、right. levels here. If you need something more challenging, go to ChinesePod.com and you'll find the stuff. Now the topic for today, Jenny, is precisely what. I am cold. You're cold. Yes.、Uh, okay, so it's、but、about it's feeling、tricky. cold. Yeah, but yeah. it's a tricky. It's、uh, a tricky.、Dialogue. It is tricky.、Mm. Now, and you tell us why. Well, I'll tell you why after we've listened to it a couple、All、of times、right. because,、uh, well, it's just the Chinese style of communication, and so、yes. we have a couple of little insights to share with you there. Shall we preview the word for cold?、Uh, that's a great idea. Lung. 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 Yes, third、yeah. tone. Okay, third tone. Lung, and that's cold. Now you're going to hear the word lung. lung.、Uh, you're going to hear the dialogue three times, and after that, we'll come back and we'll break it down piece by piece for you. Dialogue, first time. You, 冷不冷？我还好。你呢？我有一点冷。那我们回家吧。Second time， 你冷不冷？我还好。你呢？我有一点冷。那我们回家吧。Third time， 你冷不冷？我还好。你呢？我有一点冷，那我们回家吧。We often have people tell us things like, "I gave learning Mandarin a shot, but then I realized I really don't have enough time to commit to it." Folks who felt this way love Chinese Pod Recap. In as little as ninety seconds a day, you can refresh what you've learned so far, while adding a bit of what's new to your daily learning. An innovative language learning tool to fit the busy, fast-paced lifestyle of today's professional. Okay, Jenny. Ah,、yeah. uh, so the, indeed.、Time. Now remember, the word "lung" was、mm. a key word, and it means cold. So let's have the translations now, please. 你冷不冷 Are you cold? 你冷不冷 Do you feel cold? 你冷不冷？我还好。你呢 ？I'm okay. How about you? 我还好。你呢 ？I'm so-so. How about you? 我还好。你呢？我有一点冷。Uh, I feel a little bit cold. 我有一点。冷 I feel a, a little bit cold. 我有一点冷。那我们回家吧。All right, then let's just go home. 那我们回家吧。Then let's go home. 那我们回家吧。All right. Now, lots of interesting things we can look at here. Now, the first sentence、uh, was the key word, of course, was "lung,"、yep. meaning cold. Now, let's hear how you ask that question one more time. 你冷不冷 Great. Now, 你 meaning you. you. Yeah. And then the key word. Yeah. 冷冷 Now we had it literally translated. It's cold, cold. not cold.、Mm. Right. So let's、yes. hear that again, please. 你冷不冷？你冷不冷 ？Great. So, 冷不冷 meaning cold, cold or not, not cold. cold. Now, that's a very common、uh, way to create cr- questions, questions in, in Chinese. Chinese.、Yeah. Uh, for example, if you wanted to say, "Are you tired?" you could say, 你累不累？你累不累 ？Yes. Or, "Are you hungry?" 你饿不饿？你
饿不饿 ？Great. So that's a powerful little construction there. All you need is the adjective and "bu" in the middle, and you can more or less create、uh, the question there. So, are you cold? Ni lang bu lang. Okay. Now, the answer was. 我还好，你呢 ？Now, 我还好。How would you translate that, Jenny? I would say I'm all right. I'm all right.、Mm. It, uh, it's not kind of strong either way.、Yes. No, I'm not hot. I'm, I'm just, I'm just、yeah. normal. I'm just okay.、Yeah. I'm just normal. Now, tell us about this. Hi how. Hi how means pretty good. Pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Could you think of some other、uh, contexts in which we might want to use that hi how? Anyone asks you about your feelings,、okay. for example, here we're asking, "Are you cold?" But、um, I get, "Are you hungry?" or "Are you tired?" Yeah, a lot, yeah, and、yeah. I always lie and I say, I, "Well, hi, hi how?"、Yes. Uh, but if somebody said, if you'd visit a restaurant and they said, "What was the food like?" If you said, "Hi how,"、mm. that would be slightly、um, negative, wouldn't it? Yeah, it? it wouldn't be great. Yes, I mean it's edible, it's okay, yeah, but it's but not it's special.、Okay. Yeah. In fact, that was probably best way to describe it. If you said it about Judging something like that,、mm. it would kind of mean、mm, it's it's actually nothing special. Hi、yes. how? But in this case, well, hi how means I'm fine. I'm not、yeah. strong feelings either way. Okay. And then when you want to turn the back the question back to the original person, you say, Nina, 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 meaning and you. Yeah. So I'm okay. How about you? Now here's the expression. I feel a little bit cold. 我有一点冷 Now, as you said, long meaning cold, idian meaning a little, a bit. little bit. So let's hear that again a little bit, a couple of times, please, Jenny. Idian, idian. Great. And if you could put it together now with with long, idian long, idian long. So that's a little bit cold, a little idian long. Now in Chinese,、uh, you don't say I feel cold,、mm. right? You say. 我有一点冷。Great. 我有一点冷。Now the verb 有 means、mm, to have. To have. Yes. Now, this is just the way it collocates. This、yes. is just the way、uh, in English we say feel cold. In Chinese、mm-hmm. you say have cold.、Yep. 我有、uh, mm-hmm. I have 有一点冷 I've got、yes. I, I feel a little cold. So let's hear that sentence again. 我有一点冷 And so the last sentence was. 那我们回家吧。那我们回家吧。Now the first word "na," which is the fourth tone, yes, right? "Na," and that essentially means that, literally, yeah. And here it means in that case. In this case,、mm. in that case, yeah. "Na," when、well, you're going to say, "Well, in that case, we'll just go home." And so let's go home. 我们回家吧。我们。回家吧 Now I suggest at this point that you get the music of this. We'll explain the detail in a second. Maybe one or two more times, please, Jenny. 我们回家吧。我们回家吧。我们回家吧。Oh, makes me want to go home. Indeed. <laughs> 我们回家吧 So now, in detailed terms, that means 我们 means we. We. 嗯，回家。Go back home to go home.、Mm-hmm. Jia meaning home, home. yes, and hui second tone, right? Hui jia meaning means to return, return go、home. back. Return, yes, hui jia go back home, and the particle ba at the end、um, uh, indicates a suggestion. A suggestion. Let's yes, do let's, it.、Mm-hmm. If you just say 我们回家 means we are going home. Yes, right. It's、mm-hmm. like an order.、Mm-hmm. But if you say 我们回家吧 that means Uh, it's a suggestion. Let's、yeah. do it. So the full sentence there. Well, in that case, let's go home. 那我们回家吧 Great. Now let's listen to that dialogue three more times, please. Dialogue first time. 你冷不冷？我还好。你呢？我有一点。冷，那我们回家吧。Second time， 你冷不冷？我还好，你呢？我有一点冷，那我们回家吧。Third time， 你
冷不冷？我还好。你呢？我有一点冷。那我们回家吧。Hey guys, it's Michael here at Chinese Pod, and we want to say thank you to all of our faithful subscribers. If you're not registered yet, head over to ChinesePod.com now and get twenty percent off. Use promo code get twenty at checkout to get twenty percent off your first year. Now, just one other point. Uh, uh, this uh, started this dialogue when I talked to you yourself and to John Harrison、yeah. about.、It. For years, still to this day, <laughs>、uh, my wife, who's Chinese,、uh, mm. you know, sometimes she'll say something to me that on the surface of it is very clear, but actually I'm supposed to infer、uh, from、uh, which isn't often. It's, clear it's to a me. cultural thing. It's、right? a cultural thing, particular to Chinese. Indeed,、probably. and and this first sentence in this dialogue, ni lang ma. That's one. The, these types of sentences still. Get me going because say we're sitting in the room,、yeah. right? It's middle of summer, but it is very hot outside, and the air conditioning is on. My wife will say to me, "Ni lang ma,"、mm. and I really don't know what she means there. She could mean, "Do you feel cold, dear husband?" So there、Shall、are I... several options. There's a lot of possibilities、options. there. Yeah. Yes. In other words, she could mean,、uh, "If you feel cold, I'll turn off the air、yes. con," or she could mean that she feels hot and she wants to make it colder.、Uh. Or I mean, there, there's a million. It's funny, and I find that this this inference in Chinese、mm. is often it's you tend to get more of it. Yes,、uh, and you, it only occurs to you when we've been here for quite a while, and you know、indeed. how the Chinese mind works. Absolutely. Because at the first, it must be just very straightforward. Wow,、indeed. you're just asking my code. This this stuff is called、uh, a linguist call this stuff pragmatics, right? And it's、mm. the difference between what you say and what you actually mean. It's a really really interesting topic, and I'd like to have a look at it again. Like if if somebody says in English. We have it too. I mean, I、uh, open the window. It could mean you know I'm hot.、Mm. It could mean smells bad in here.、Yes. It could mean it could mean any of a lot a lot of、uh, different things. And、uh, but anyway, this ni lang ma is is one that still gets me from my wife, and I don't、wow. know exactly each time what she means. But anyway, that was a little anecdote. I hope that helps to.、Uh, Do something. I don't know exactly what, but anyway, we are running out of time. In the meantime, you should indeed go to ChinesePod dot com.、Mm. Uh, have a look at the transcripts and so on. So keep practicing. Keep coming back. We'll be here again tomorrow with another hopefully interesting lesson. But for now, from Shanghai, China, it's time for us to say goodbye. As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number zero two eight six. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/zero two eight six, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again. www.chinesepod.com/slash zero two eight six.